Welcome everyone to the Passionate Pack Rat. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. I'd like to relate a story about a camera, a lens, a friend, and Mr. Bob Dylan. This was mm, probably late 1980s. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, a photographer, the same guy who uh, uh, left with, picked up Wayne Gretzky and the Stanley Cup and exited the Northlands Coliseum with those people and the cup. <laughs> um, and I provided a link for those who haven't uh, seen that video. Check it out. It's pretty funny. Uh, I think it's Lord Stanley, Wayne Gretzky and me. Uh, the joke was on me, by the way. Uh, anyways, uh, he had moved, my friend had moved to Calgary. Um, and it was before my children were born, so it had to be the late 1980s, I'm assuming. Anyways, we decided to go see Mr. Bob Dylan. Uh, but we wanted to take pictures of him. But we didn't have media passes. So what to do, what to do. We decided at the time that he would bring his Canon F1 camera and I would bring my 300 F4 lens, and we would hide them in our jackets. It was springtime, and I, I you know, I've seen Dylan uh, half a dozen times, and I've seen him with uh, Sue Foley, Tracy Chapman, I think Joan Armitraden, Armitrading opened up for him once, um, and I've seen him without a band, uh, with an opening act band, um, and I can't remember if this concert had an opening act. Regardless, uh, before we went to the show, we indulged in something that is now legal in Canada. It was something that I, I would regret later, by the way. <laughs> so, off to the show we go. He has hidden his uh, camera underneath his clothes, and I put the... Uh, the, the lens in the jack in the sleeve of my jacket and it looked like I had big biceps um, which I didn't uh, so we got past security no problem and finally uh, Mr. Dylan comes on uh, I hand my lens to my friend he puts it on the camera uh, puts a roll of film in starts taking pictures as he's doing taking pictures other people are taking pictures, but only they're using a flash. Uh, and then, folks, if you're 15, 20, 30, 40 rows back, the flash ain't going to help you. Sorry, even if you, even today. Um, so don't bother using a flash. As this is going on, though, I notice that these great big pillars of henchmen go over to the, wherever the flash came from, and take away their cameras. And I'm thinking, oh, Lord, paranoia is starting to set in. I'm watching these guys more than I'm watching Dylan perform. About 15 minutes elapse, and I don't know how many cameras these guys have, but they, they have a pile by now. And uh, hopefully they're all disposable cameras that people could afford to lose. But uh, I'm freaking and peeking by now. And after 15 minutes, my friend takes his roll out of the camera, hands me the camera. But I'm paranoid, has set in big time. <laughs> and so I take, I put a roll of film, a, a roll of film, kind of like this. Uh, remember what film is? Uh, 1600, this is Fuji Chrome. Um, yeah, 1600 neg. And I put it in, the, and I'm so paranoid I take one frame, and only one frame. I take the lens off the camera, take my film out of the camera, hand him the camera, hide the lens, sit back and enjoy the show. I've had enough. I, so one frame. <laughs> he phones me a couple days later. My friend phones me and says, how did your shoot go? Well, I, I don't know. I only shot one frame and I haven't developed it, quite honestly. How about you? He says, well, I got some bad news. The film didn't go through my camera. Oh, my Lord. Which, you know, it, it, when you're loading film back in the day, loading film in the dark, 
uh, if it didn't catch the sprocket, it wouldn't advance. And it was, this had happened to me before. It's a real pain because you don't have a shoot out of it. So I go to a Flames game, I think a couple days later. I had to cover the game. I don't even know who was playing. <clears throat> I shoot the rest of the roll that the Bob Dylan is on, supposedly, hopefully. I don't know now, now that his role didn't go through, did my role go through? Um, so I develop it, finally, and I did get one frame. It wasn't a great picture, but this is a picture I got of Mr. Dillon that, that day. Um, this isn't a great print, and lovely jacket, Bob, by the way. I was going to send this to him and say, you didn't get my camera, you bastard. <laughs> but I didn't. I'm not so brazen to do that. Anyways, that's the rest of the story, folks. Thanks for watching. Enjoy uh, your day and take care of yourselves. Please take care of those around you. Bye for now.